simplify. Three fifths to the negative second power, alright? And positive exponents. Okay? So you're given three fifths, right? To negative second power, right? Remember what the uh, method is. It's when you're given b to the negative n power equals 1 over that, and it's the reciprocal of your original number, okay? So go ahead and find the reciprocal of this, right? This is really over imaginary 1, right? So if we were to flip it over, it would be 1 over 3 to the fifth to the negative second power, right? But whenever you find the reciprocal of it, you just go ahead and use the positive power. So it's going to be like this. So it's 1 over 3 fifths to the second power, right? And 3 fifths to the second power is 3 squared, right? Over 5 squared, right? And let's write this over horizontally. 1 divided by 3 squared over 5 squared. Okay, let's simplify. 1 divided by 3 squared is 3 times 3. 5 squared is 5 times 5. Bring down the 1, bring down the division sign. 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 5 is 25. So go ahead and when you're when when you have a whole number, it's really equal to itself over 1. Right? And then just go ahead and um, simplify your division, right? Division turns into multiplication, right? And you just find the reciprocal of your second fraction. So whenever you're dividing, you're multiplying by the reciprocal, and that will be 25 goes to the, goes to the top, right? And on the bottom is the 9. Go ahead, multiply across. The numerator of your first fraction, right, times the numerator of your second fraction. The denominator of your first fraction times the denominator of your second fraction. 1 times 25 is 25. 1 times 9 is 9. And your final answer is 25 that 